you know, this today we or all weekend really we just didn't have the car in the track. I can't touch the throttle, so either I'm going to push the front or I'm going to slide the back. Like there's just no balance. So I don't, I don't really know. We just got to do a better job of getting the car in the racetrack so you can actually use the engine. So Casey King says there, Parker, that he can't touch the throttle, and he seems very frustrated. Let's go back to the news that we brought everybody at the top of the show, that there's a significant crew chief change being made, that Darian Grubb is now going to step in for the remainder of 2017. What can you take from that news as it applies to this situation at this point? Well, just what I know from the weekend. I had spent yeah. some time talking to Keith Rodden. I'd spent some time speaking to Casey Kane, and there was a lot of frustration in that race team. I mean, especially when they didn't make it out of the first round of qualifying. That team was deflated after that. Casey looked like you'd taken a puppy and shot it in front of him. I mean, it was really, it was just distraught. I mean, it was incredible to see. And then as that interview after the race, uh, he was just as equally distraught about not being able to touch yeah. the throttle. And I think this race team is looking at the side of the fact or a thing saying, we got nothing to lose. Why don't we just make a change here, see if something happens. And therefore, Darren Grubb was in the wings. He, he's been working with the uh, Hendrick Motorsports in a more of a technical position, actually kind of as a liaison between the track and the shop at many yeah. times. And so he was an easy fit with his crew chief experience to go in there and maybe just see what maybe yeah. he could change within that race team. Yeah. Hey, look. 26 races in the regular season, and they won Indy. They, they won Indy, and that, that is huge. But these guys have not been a team. They've not worked together. They've not jailed. That's not happened for them. And we just came off of a discussion where, Darian, uh, where uh, Adam Stevens says, that's my group. I'm going to stand behind that pit crew. Here's the situation on the other end of the spectrum where it said, I stood behind you 26, 27 races. I can't stand behind this anymore. The Hendrick organization had to make a call. And whether it's to put Darian in to evaluate where the five team is to get it ready for next year, to just go through the motions, I don't believe that. I believe that they're in there to win the championship. And I think this is Rick Hendrick throwing everything at it that he can to make this team better. He's got two more races to move this team up the ladder and move it into the next round. Can this team perform? Will this team happen? What will Casey do? How will he respond? There's so many unanswered questions with that five team that have been unanswered for the last two or three years. We know Casey's not there anymore, but I think this is a championship team, meaning Hendrick looking at this team and saying, we want these guys to succeed. So outside of the five, we've got one playoff race under our belt now. As you look at the teams and the way that they performed over the weekend in the Cup Series, 